A tragic ending in Missouri to an Amber Alert case in Iowa. Good evening, everyone. I'm Laura Moritz. And I'm Chris Katz, a young child taken by his father for a walk. Hours later, their bodies found in this burning vehicle. The scene in Harrison County up in North Missouri along the Iowa line. KMBC 9's Peggy Bright went to the Grand Trace Conservation Area where it happened. It's pretty tough when you're dealing with a, a nine month old, you have a 17 month old yourself. It's pretty tough. Sheriff Josh Eckerson is leveled by what happened on his watch at this nature preserve 100 miles away from where little Logan Habibovich lived with his mother. But she became concerned when Dad Elvis hadn't returned Logan and she called police. I don't know what's going on. Like, he has no job. Like, I'm, not, I'm saying, my kid is missing. He's about the same time the mom was making her report, Harrison County officials were called to this location. A passerby noticed smoke, drove in, and found the burning car. It was so badly burned, and so were the bodies, that it wasn't until hours later that pathologists determined a child was also in the Land Rover. Now authorities want to know why Elvis Habibovich chose this area to come to. It is a hunting and fishing spot, so he may have had prior knowledge of being to the area. But that's still unknown tonight, and so are the reasons why a dad would do this. Uh, a parent um, took matters in his own hands, unfortunately, and... It's a bad situation. I really feel for the mother. In Harrison County, Peggy Bright, KMBC 9 News. Logan's mother says she mostly raised the nine month old by herself, but that Logan's father, Elvis, who she dated off and on for two years until last weekend, could see his son whenever he wanted to. She says uh, she had no idea he was capable of this. He did this to spite me. He did this to take him so I could not have him. It was a selfish, malicious act. Urbandale, Iowa police had been called to the couple's apartment four times since November.